Welcome to my custom interloper run. I'm Knife429, and here's what's in our backpack. We are underweight. Uh, we have a little bit of wood. Um, we're all good in there. I could use an extra bandage. Uh, we have some clothing that needs to be repaired. So we'll probably spend some time doing that. Uh, we got food and we got water. Uh, we have an arrow we can break down. There we go. Bow was at 61. And there we go. We have a little bit of cloth and leather. Uh, we are day 270. And here's our skills. Fishing, rifle, revolver, and gunsmithing are the only ones that we need. And it is daylight. So we still have hypothermia for another six hours. So you can see our alertness is going down quite a bit. So we're going to do some repairs until we need to sleep. And we're just going to stay in here. Now we have two pieces of leather, 74. Let's do the gloves. And coach's boots. And we should be sleeping after this. There we go. Uh, we got five hours. You have an odd word of the day for today. I'm going to go five hours. That should put it. Uh, you know what? I should have went six. That would put us around midday, I think. Oh, maybe it wouldn't have. All right. Hypothermia is healed. Thankfully. Uh, weather sounds like crap outside, though. That's not good. That sounds like a blizzard. There's nothing in here, right? I know you can't really see, but... There's nothing really to see. Uh, how is our sled? 91. It's not worth it. This is totally a blizzard, though. Yep. Well, what are we going to do? What are we going to do while we wait for the blizzard? Let's uh, do that before I forget. Uh, where's our hatchet? Sharpen that up. There we go. You can't tell what my weather's like. You got to put your headset on. Okay, we're out of leather now. We got nothing. Uh, 99. What to do, what to do, what to do? You're 87. You're 78. Let's go with you. There we go. Uh, do we have any more? We have one more. Let's do you. That's it. No more cloth. Can't do anything. Uh, let's just fill our belly for something to do. It's an hour and a half. Well. That is it. Let's just go get another visual on the weather. Yep.
think it's I don't think we have a, much of a choice. We gotta go do something. May as well go down there and make some water or something. Uh, we have one bar of scent. Did it just end? Did it actually just come to an end? Look at that. We're gaining temperature. Mr. Wolf. Rudely interrupting us. Let's bring him this way, I guess. Yeah, the animal refresh looks like it's going to be interesting. They're going to... What, like Blackrock and Bleak, you're not necessarily going to get Timberwolves? in all of the areas anymore they will be a, ch a chance of timber wolves but also in some other regions as well that is very interesting all right let's go Doink. that is quite interesting i kind of like that I don't think it'll be horrible, provided the, the chance, I, I think, um, in the other regions, the new regions that they're going to put the Timberwolves, I believe it's it's a slow, or not a slow, I believe it's a, a small chance that the Timberwolves could spawn. And that kind of opens up some more randomness to the game uh, which I like I also like the fact that if you are in Blackrock or Bleak you're not necessarily getting those guaranteed Timberwolf packs there is a chance that the, the, the wolf spawns could be regular wolves You've long wanted Timberwolves to be roaming and once killed, not again in the same spot. Exactly. I fully agree. I mean, they, they can be a pain in the butt, but you know, Interland aren't stupid. They've done a lot of really good things with this game. And I'm sure that they took a lot of thought Oh boy. Doink. I'm sure they put a lot of thought into this. And it's gonna, I think everybody's gonna like it. I mean, sure, there'll be like the odd person who's like, this is sucks. This is stupid. But I think it'll be overall pretty good. I don't want all of you. I had cloth, didn't I? Nope. <laughs> I have leather. <laughs> Dang it. And what do we got in here? Oh, I gotta... Let's go up here so we know we're safe. Break that down. Um, now... We got five. Let's take one. Uh... 
This is petty, I know. You just don't weigh anything. Uh, did I have your arrows? Okay, I don't have... Oh, hey, get over there. Um, and I have a pry bar. That I don't really need. You can go into the, the scrap metal pile. Uh... Take two of those. Let's go. We got a bear out there that we still need to harvest. We just got through a blizzard. So hopefully we don't get any more nasty weather. The skies are relatively clear. Um, when I was sleeping... I had a very brief, um, like when I started my game up this morning, we were not completely rested, plus with the hypothermia and the extra uh, drain on our alertness, um, I slept a couple of different times for like an hour or two. And there was a ever so brief moment of an aurora and I hope that doesn't count uh, like if the game has some kind of coding to say well you can get auroras this frequently and you technically had one it was like an hour long I hope it doesn't count hopefully the bear is still there I I think it will be. I don't recall in my games ever having one disappear on me. Um, unless it was too long of a period before harvesting it. But I would also think that the degradation on this bear is going to be kind of sketchy. to the point where we may not be able to put it into the sled. Now there's obviously a workaround for that. Cook the meat. And it'll all go to 50, right? But that's a long time. And what do we have like 24 sticks and two pieces of reclaimed wood? And I brought one extra piece of coal because I'm anticipating using it. I still like, like, look at that, it's plus three. I like that. Now, here's a interesting thing. What if there's a moose there now? What if? What do we have? We have 30 arrows too, so. With my aim. <laughs> we should be able to take one down. It's just a matter of being in a proper spot to do so. I love these colors. Was that a wolf? Nope. I will be grabbing sticks along the way. Uh, I doubt that I'm going to go that far out of my way to grab one. There's a wolf. There's another wolf. Can I get... Yeah, let's just do this. Patience, right? There it is. Doink.
Come on, boy. I just, just let him see me. Oh, I barely got him. Doink. <laughs> Yeah, there's some some kind of connection to you drawing the bow when you're sneaking up on a wolf and them shifting their position. Uh, we have a rock, okay. Because yeah, every time, every single time you draw when you're crouched like that and they don't know about you. As soon as you pull, the wolf moves. Hey, Mr. Coach, welcome in. How are you doing tonight? Today? <laughs> Obviously, you know how I'm doing. And hey, guess what? It's morning stream, so I can't... I, I have no excuse. I'm not falling through the ice again. I mean, yesterday I could kind of use the excuse that, you know, long day, I was tired. Not making the smartest decisions, but I think you also have to throw in a mix of uh, stupidity. <laughs> but I am fully rested. There's no excuse for stuff like that. Exactly, excuses, excuses. I don't like to give excuses. I like to give reasons. Excuses seem like something you're making up. A reason is like a real life thing that happened that's like, here, this is the actual reason. Plus two. I want my bear. Today's word is acid ascendaton. What does ascendaton mean? This is like old times, Murd Coach and Nifo. Which means the omission of conjunctions, as in he has provided people with jobs, with opportunity, with self-respect. Alright. Where did you find that word? Yeah, exactly, huh? Like, use that word in a sentence. How would you... Like, would you just be like, he's... He's the... Ascendaton? Or he... Is... Ascendaton. I don't get it. I don't know. That word's way too smart for me. I think Murd in general is just too smart for me. <laughs> Ascendaton is a writing technique that, intention that involves intentionally omitting conjunctions like and, but, or, or from a sentence or series of clauses. Ah, but you use the word or whilst explaining that you are to omit it. Uh, 
Oh. So you don't really actually use the word, though. It's just a word for a way of somebody writing. So if you know anybody who doesn't say and. <laughs> Where's my bear? I already forgot where my bear is. he up here maybe i can't remember it seems like it's too late for crows no nah, it wasn't up there we'll find him I think he was over there. I think. It is an odd word. You are definitely correct in that regard. Well, it's not. I don't think this is clear enough for an Aurora. I'm still here in wolves. How many do I have to take out before they go silent? Why is my bear? See, now I'm worried. Okay, it was, I don't believe it was this close to the tracks. Now I'm worried that he did disappear with that last blizzard. And I don't believe it's been three days, right? I, I think I shot him yesterday. Yeah, next month we might have timber wolves here. That is a possibility. They said in some regions, but then they wouldn't say which regions, which is good. Um, should have been in all regions, I think. Can you imagine Timberwolves in Mystery Lake? Well, if those crows can fly at this time of day or night, if they can fly by. Shouldn't that mean there should be crows out and about? Oh, that's a footprint. Thought it was a stick. I don't know where my bear is. We might have to just go to bed. Come back in the morning. Thing is, I don't... It's still one. Uh, are you cedar or fur? You're cedar. Is any of this fur? don't want to do is I don't want to I'm going to go up to the cave what I don't want to do is waste all my wood that I've brought just sleeping is that a wolf surrounded by snow and nothing to drink right over there there's something glistening you see it when I turn it's like right there is that a wolf Oh, 
Well, let's just go to the cave. I think in the cave I won't need to use uh, a fire or have a fire. But yeah, it kind of defeats the purpose of bringing all this wood to harvest the bear. If the bear is in fact still out here. Uh, if I'm just going to waste it all sleeping. didn't despawn the bear it hasn't I, I do believe I shot him yesterday you saw the you saw the green flickers too today eh, coach like I wonder if that was a wolf and his night eyes I probably should be prepared right now let's make sure this baby's loaded Oh, and how many mushrooms did we get? We have eight. Okay. There's just one. There's two. We'll take them. Oh, great. I can't see the train properly. Boink. Give me that. It's hard to tell if the train is good or bad in this type of lighting. Do you have any buddies? Whoops. Hello, Mr. Tree. Uh, we're going to eat out here. And we're going to drop the remaining meat. So we don't have any scent. I need some water. Shut up, Astrid. Is there any extra coal in here? That would be pretty nice. Nope. Let's put that out. We'll check the temperature. Oh, it's 28. I think it should be fine, right? Please don't watch me type 10 hours and then tell me afterwards that this is the rare cave you can't sleep in without a fire. We awoke. We're alive. Do that so she doesn't start talking about drinking her pee. <laughs> nice try, Merd. I'm gonna go back in here where we're warm. Go right to the back. And you're a thousand, you're a thousand, so yeah. Uh, I'm eating that way. I don't care. Alright, let's go look for our bear. Cross your toes. Well... Instant confirmation. Oh, maybe not. <laughs> I thought it was uh, crows for that wolf, but apparently it was just crows flying overhead. And now we're getting fog, so we're 
Can I have a tough time finding this bear? I, I kind of remember where he is, but I don't completely remember. Like, I remember I fell, I fell through the ice over there. And I had walked up, and that's where I kind of saw him. I don't trust this ice. Ooh. Guess what we're going to do? We're going to summon Darth. Do that. I remember I used to remember, huh? <laughs> oh, look at that. Darth appears. It worked. It worked. See? Proof. Every time, bud. Every time. Every stream, I eat a cattail in your honor. How you doing, Darth? Uh, by chance, if you remember where the bear was, uh, please let us know. <laughs> On the bright side, we should end up with a bunch of sticks. Um, I th Do you see that? That is one of those big deer. We can't deal with that yet. We have a bear to go find. Oh, and go figure, Murd already saw the moose. <laughs> oh, copper. Welcome in, copper. How are you today? Feeling feisty, apparently. <laughs> uh, you thought the bear was on the ice. I don't think he was. Was I thought he was up here. But we we all know me well enough that what I think doesn't really mean nothing. Right, that is for the body, but there is confirmation now. We do have crows. I think that's where he is. Did I say I hate being cold? Because I really do. Operate too many chocolate chip cookies and have the jitters. <laughs> you thought you would share. I'd rather you just share the chocolate chip cookies and not the jitters. But it's nice of you to share anything. <laughs> let's do. Let's do that. You can never eat too many chocolate chip cookies. I know. I know. They are so good. I'm going to do that. I'm going to do that. And... Alright, where do I want my sled? I want my sled, I think, aimed that way. Um, I hope I'm in a good spot for it. That'll work, actually. You know that? I will put you right there. It's pretty hard to miss that. Um... Do that. That's an hour 24. No!
No. If I keep clicking it, will it eventually be like, yeah, okay, fine. Oh, bear 35. And I just threw water, so now I have to just sit here and look at your useless carcass. We got a moose. How far is he? Uh... Yeah, it won't let me harvest anything. I need to find some place to escape this cold. Hey, Cherry Lum, welcome in. Knife will be out there killing bears like it's going out of style. That's right. That was dirty, Murd. Alright, where... I, I... I know I've taken this moose down in the past. I just don't know where a good spot is. Like, I'm genuinely not comfortable right now. Um, I'm wondering... Oh, boy. That was a hit, wasn't it? Is he coming at me? <laughs> Alright, that was interesting. I'm gonna go this way. I didn't know... I didn't know that that arrow had broken, but that was exactly why I went. Was to check it out. I gotta go warm up. Mr. Moose, if we could continue this over here. That'd be great. I don't know why he turned. I'm not gonna complain about it though. I had my flare pistol ready just in case. But I wasn't really sure. Like, was he charging or was he in flight mode? Like, it was weird because it was such a delayed reaction from him. somehow get that moose over here and use our fire that's already going that would be pretty cool wouldn't it uh, let's do that maybe he had a moment of pity Maybe he's like, wait a second. Maybe he didn't know where I was. And when he got closer, he's like, damn, that's the guy that just shot me. Wrong way, wrong way. <laughs> I don't care if this works or not. I'm just going to drink it. Give me that. We got two hours. That's my goal is to bring that moose this way. And the bear is officially gone. That's terrible. It's quite unbearable. Yeah. 
he was like, oh, that's the guy that falls through the ice all the time. Never mind. Yeah, no kidding. Sometimes it's it's worse to just let a person be. He's way out there. I think it's near impossible to get him to actually go to where I want. But I do kind of wonder if I get on this tree, it seems like when you when you have some kind of elevation, you might be protected. Oh, come on. Why you put trees that we can't climb on? What's the point? Oh. Confirmation that that first or that that second bow or bow Jesus you scared the hell out of me the second arrow hit If I could speak Now where did he go? If this get out of here, I can't hear with you running around out right here I just want to make good and sure I reloaded this yes, I did Three foot miss. That's only a miss because Hinterland and their hitboxes. We should rename it to no hitboxes. I wonder. Is that going to go far enough to bring them this way? <laughs> nope. <laughs> That was not what I wanted. Yeah, I agree with Murd. He, I hit with the arrow, which is more important. You can't kill him with the flare gun anyway. I don't even know if a flare gives any kind of damage. So... It served its purpose of protecting our hide. Really? That was a hit. <laughs> Not like it matters. We only have two more of those though. That's... That is no longer an actual good strategy. I kind of don't want to take a long shot like this because if I miss like that, ah, there we go. Got a moose, got a moose, will you do the fandango? Boom headshot! Boom headshot! Boom headshot! That's right. Oh, look at... I got another arrow out of him. Okay, where'd that other arrow go? Is that it? No, that's a stick, right? I should be able to start a fire with that flare. <laughs> well. Oh. 
That is a holy moose. <laughs> Alright, we got Come that. On. It's already going, Astrid. Alright, where did that arrow... Possibly go. I don't have a clue. It's only going to be basically a nub sticking out of the snow, isn't it? I don't think I missed by a whole lot. I think I only missed by a little. What if I didn't miss? I got three arrows out of them. The first hit broke. I don't know. Oh, did I not bring my sled? Oh, you stay thawed. <laughs> How long are you? Two hours. You know what? Let's do that. I guess I could have actually harvested two kilograms of meat. That might have been 278. Eh, what the hell? That might have been a smarter idea. Put them on the fire because that's an hour. I think it's like eight minutes or something like that to get the two pieces. It's, it's not very long. You think you think I got all the arrows? That's I do think that maybe that one that I thought I missed, maybe I didn't. Maybe I didn't miss because I was actually only expecting two arrows in him and I got three. I got to remember we're not listening for crows. There ain't no crows where this. Oh, there it is. Found it. Look at all the burdock. The moose groaned when you hit it with the arrow that missed. Y'all are more alert than I am. But I do, yeah, I, I do think that I got it back. I'm very surprised that I hit it on that one shot. I totally thought I missed. But I'll take it. Makes me look better. <laughs> ah, that's a two flare moose though. Yeah, we don't need any. What was the time of day? It's midday. Oh, this is going to be pretty awesome right now. I'm going to say that. That doesn't really work. 11 till melted. Um, let's eat you. And what am I thinking of doing? I don't know why. Let's just break that down. Four shots, one broken, three hits. You got them all. Nice. I kind of don't want that there. Where? Will you let me put it here, please? I feel better about that. Take that. 
Bird wants a stretch. There we go. Thanks, Merd. 30 minutes until boiled. Well, let's take more. Where is it? There it is. I couldn't find it. Like, wait a second. Um, let's eat that. And get rid of it. It's an hour. There's an hour fourteen. That works. And get these first so we don't lose them. I can't remember if I actually I don't think I got anything from that bear like the hide or anything Which is I mean it, it, it doesn't really matter But it would have been nice to get something Sticks. Let's just do that. Six. I'll take two. The moose looks like your old Uncle Bob. <laughs> That's a little strange, coach. All right, we got all the hide and guts. Big 12. Yeah, it is annoying to lose a bear, but that's how it goes, I guess, right? I'm going to do that. Speed that up. And crows are telling all the wolves, he's over here. I'm going to do that. Uh, 14. Can I get all 14? Yep. Hey, XM, welcome in, and thank you for the resub. That is seven months. Thank you. How are you doing, XM? Good to see you. Let's do that. Look what we did. We got that guy. And you know what? Let's, uh, take one of you. For asking and good to see that you are as well look at this weather all right we got a moose now where am I taking this guy I think I'm just going to take him to the rail car. 
This moose should be moose number eight. It is. The, whoops, wrong one. The bears killed, um, 35. That means I should have 30 bear hides spread about the maps. I made two bear coats, right? And that's two two hides a piece. And we lost one. So there should be still 30 hides. Unless I used one to repair. But that would be way cooler. Because that would mean there would be 29 of them kicking around. But it doesn't feel like I have that many. And I only ever lost the one, I think. Um, it is possible that one of those earlier bears, I may not have been able to get the hide, but still like, really stymied by a shrub. Yeah, I'm going to take the meat to the rail car because we're, I think, uh, I think it'll be kind of a pain in the butt, to be honest, to try to get the meat uh, over to the, I'm, I'm just calling it the camp. I don't forget the name of it. You know what I'm talking about though. And we'll take the hide in the guts over there because they can't cure over here. So, and whilst we do it because we're going to drop the meat and then we're just going to go that way uh, maybe we get lucky and we get an aurora and we can start looking for some signal caches put you away Okay. Um, uh, too much to carry. Is that far enough in? I don't trust it. I'm going to pick it all up. I should actually, you know what? I was kind of foolish. I should actually, when I picked it all out of there, I should have seen if I could actually move. I only dropped it there because I just figured I wouldn't be able to. 76, I don't think. Yeah, we can't move. Okay. I don't feel so stupid. And... Let's take you and we can go. Two bars of scent. Oh, pickled beets. Yum. It's like you, f you feel like you're eating something that should be green, but you get stained in purple. Doesn't get any better than that. I haven't had beets for a, a long time. A long time. I used to eat beets probably once a week back as a as a kid. It was one of our vegetables, and I liked it. 
No, no, I don't I don't really follow the diabetic thing. Um I mean, I kind of do, but I follow it in the sense that I had before I knew I had type 2. I had already stopped putting sugar in my coffee and adding sugar to anything, but it doesn't mean I don't take in sugar at all. I still do. My doctor knows that. I totally cheat on it. But I, I am also, I think I had mentioned before, I, I am at a point where sometimes um, the sweetness just tastes disgusting. So... Although I will cheat on, on it sometimes, intentionally I guess, I don't know, or consciously I guess. Uh, it's not, I don't think it's a gross amount. My favorite is when they put, uh, when they put sugar in my coffee at Tim Hortons. First sip and I'm like, dude, seriously? Why? This is like deja vu. Yeah, once once you once you get used to not really taking it, there's sugar in so many things. But I mean, it, it's different when it's coming from like a a fruit than it is when it's coming from junk food. The the taste of it coming from like a natural product, it's a little different. It's uh, kind of gross when it's coming from junk food. Uh, luckily, or I don't know if it's luckily, but feels like night is coming. Thankfully, chocolate chip cookies are not too sweet <laughs> to to me. The way Nifo navigates this region makes you giggle. Why? Did I not make it home last night? Uh, this is this has just got wetness. Although I crossed right here. I do have sprint. Yesterday when I tried sprint get across. When I tried sprinting, it didn't feel like we were actually sprinting. I don't even know what the problem is. I was hitting the right button. I think the little icon came up. It just didn't feel like we were actually sprinting. You go in weird long spirals. From the train car, you can pretty much go directly to the barn and bunker. Can you? But I can't see it. Now is not the time for learning. <laughs> no experimenting. Although I will aim a little closer, but I, I just like to stick to the outskirts. It's, it's how I've always done this region. We can go there. I think we've already been there, but we can go there again. And I just remember this is a this is a weekend morning stream, so at the 2 hour mark I will be taking a 10ish minute break. To go get more coffee and let my pup out. And we will continue. Uh, can I cross here? 
I'm gonna see if it'll let me cross. I don't know if it will. If I retreat. Now, can you actually run in reverse? No, the button, the, the, the icon comes up, but you're not, I don't think you're actually moving faster. Ooh. This is telling me. This will come in handy. Oh, wow. Okay. That's telling me I maybe haven't been out here. I thought that was going to be a ruined torch. And now, do I have to try to get on this tree to cross? Uh, I wonder if I get on this side of the snow. Can I get up here? Please? I feel like I'm up. There we go. After the two hour mark, Murd will be leaving, showering, and getting ready for bed. Alright, fine. Be that way. <laughs> That's okay. Pretty lights in the sky. to the shortest path this way. There we go. The thinnest. I think this ice is all pretty good right here, though. I wouldn't be surprised if there was a, a cache out here. And I don't really, I mean, I don't know at all where they are out here, but I'm just guessing that this would be a pretty neat spot for one. Oh, I haven't even been here. I've literally slept right here. <laughs> I came out here once. Ah, oh, chips. Why couldn't you be? Oh, hello. Um... I came out here long ago and I was stranded and trapped. And kind of worried that the wolves were going to get me. I was able to get a fire back here. Uh, and uh, put my bag down there. I don't trust that. That's got restart all over it. Alright, this is where I wish I had better visibility out here because... I really, 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 really don't know... ...where... ...the camp is. I think if I go to that little bunch here. Go this way. Well, it's not looking like we're going to get an Aurora. That's too bad. How much moose do we have? We have seven. Now we have basically six. 
And how full was that lantern? I didn't really check. Half. That's not bad. If I get lost, this is on you because you were the one bugging me about my route. So I decided I would make an attempt at crossing through the middle with poor visibility. Our visibility could definitely be way worse than this, but... Yeah, blame game. Yeah. Oh, wait until I throw out the threat that I might put him on the list for this. <laughs> I don't think this is a list worthy venture. Because I didn't really feel like this was uh, an idea that was too good to pass up. It was more like I felt like I was being dared subtly. <laughs> and that's a whole different list that we don't have yet. Oh, now it's clear. gonna happen we're getting an aurora mark my words the that is not the same blind is it Is that even possible? <laughs> there is no, that is not the same blind. I need to see it with my own eyes. I did not just walk in a circle. I think. No. <laughs> oh, how is that even possible? How do you go that way and end up being right back where you started? Oh. Well, at least we can see. And we know we got to go this way. I just baffled as to how I ended up back here. I'm trying to look at the the outskirts there to see if I recognize any of the spots as being the camp and I don't. There's only two hunting blinds in Forlorn Muskeg, one on each side of the region. See, I know there's two of them, I just don't know exactly where each of them is. See, I had the right idea. I went this way. I could use the mountain. You know where I am, does that help? Maybe. I 
At what point did I turn? Because I went this way. Obviously. Is Naifu about to walk in the same circle for a second time? No. And I feel Coach's comment about the mountain is a subtle hint. I can't. Because I came from back there. I can't be going in the same circle. Maybe we're not getting an Aurora though. Coach was subtly hinting that the mountain is where I want to be aimed at. The biggest. But I'm going to go this way. I think I know where I'm at. So there. I'm pretty sure I know where I'm at now. What is this? Is that just a rock poking out? It's not. Cattail heads. Darth was here. What's the wind? Minus 19. Um. And I don't see any wolves. There we go. Kind of surprised you it didn't become a Aurora. That's, I'm a little surprised as well. Whoops. Don't look up. <laughs> As soon as I saw the stars appear, I thought, yeah, we're getting one. Because it was real early in the evening and... Or I guess early in the night. We still could get one. But unfortunately, we'll only hear about it while we're sleeping. Uh, what do I have? 32, okay. I'm going to drop the wood and we're going to go up to the bunker. We'll sleep up there. I kind of wish that you could use your hatchet on this fence and just get rid of like one of these so you didn't have to walk all the way around it. Ha <laughs> ha. 
But I will, I will say again, though, I am having fun finding these caches. I do wish that they would keep track of the caches so that a person knows. Maybe some people don't want to know how many there is in a region, but it, some of us do want to know. Because... I would stay in each region until I found all of the caches, personally. And I think that's one of those, uh, one of those things where you could bring it in and, and people that were just against it don't really have to use it, right? They can just go about doing whatever it is that they want to do. Um, yeah, let's go. I'll take that lantern and we'll break it down. But yeah, I personally would like them, uh, to just say like, you know, how many caches of, of how many for each region. All right, Mr. Wolf. Doink. I kind of expected my arrow to be broken there. And and go figure. I mean, this is the one region that I think I was... Damn piece of wood. <laughs> this is the one region where I was, was kind of the most worried about the caches because of the thin ice. And it's going to be the one that takes the longest before we can actually go looking. By the time we get to go looking again, there's going to be a bear again. But we got both bears. We got the moose is down. And a whole bunch of wolves are down. Right now, it's just a matter of getting to this uh, bunker before we lose more condition than we're going to regain. I should actually keep an eye on that hypothermia. We don't want that stuff again. We got halfway through the night. Well, if we do get an Aurora tonight, I think it'll be one of those ones where it's right at the tail end of the night. Lasts for an hour. It's kind of what it was yesterday. Or I guess two days ago in game. When I started the stream. Or actually, right before I started the stream. Just trying to get it to daylight. Let's get in here. I'm not sure I can carry much more. Well, let's do this. Um, I think that torch... You can go over there. And... Drop the moose hide somewhere around here. Is it going to cooperate? Not... Well, that's kind of cooperating. Although now it's going to be... Let's move that. We got a nice little carpeted area. Drop these guys. Oh, damn it. <laughs> I forgot. I forgot to put my bedroll down before I turned it. There we go. Um, let's eat you. We'll eat the chips. Get rid of those.
What did I just do? That's not what I wanted to do. Yeah, let's go to bed. It sounds like the weather is bad again, so we're not fully rested. I'm going to look at the time of day, though. And yeah, what the hell? Let's go. Oh, did I do that with my lantern lit? No. Oh, I wasn't going to break it down yet. I'm keeping that for something to do. You had me worried thinking I went to bed with the lantern still lit. <laughs> yeah, let's not go there. Oh. Oh, thank you. It let me back. <laughs> I had instant regret. Change of mind. I thought I wanted to go down there until I saw how steep it was. And then I thought, nope. I thought it was just going to be like, okay, just crouch a little bit and you'll be okay, right? I think it's way worse than that. I thought it was more like this one. Right, now how do we kill a day? Uh, it's only minus three. I am not going to... Well, I know what we can do. We can go make a fire and build some arrows. Oh, but... The table's too far from the forge. Let's also move you out of the way. Let's do that. I don't believe this is a very wind blocked on, area, man. though. gonna grab it all uh, was there anything in here I, I bet you I have an extra can of paint don't I didn't I find one in the snow yeah there's yeah I do uh, I might have to Let's put you there. I might have to uh, break down that bedroll for some cloth. Because we are at zero. Well, let's, uh, let's do that. Four minutes. I'm going to hope that it's not too cold. All right, we got him. Uh, there you are. We will 
eat. Make sure these are all okay. Yeah, we can eat. Drink up and oh, I guess I should drop all that arrow making supplies. That's it, I guess. What do we have for wood? We have five pieces of coal. Let's check by these birch trees and see if there's a single piece. Oh, look at that. We got one. That's all we want because we only have one on us and now we have two and we are brave we can handle being out here for five minutes feels like it's two uh let's go up and across And again, we'll collect sticks on our way. Uh, what's our meat situation again? Oh yeah. We are good in the meat department. We'll just go up and around. Although, you know what? Now is not a bad time to start crisscrossing through the middle of this place we got one bar of scent maybe i should pick up some of that raw meat as well that way we can get rid of as many look at we have 33 arrows we can get rid of as many of the uh remaining predators I want one extra that way when I I mean we got this piece here that is gone there we go we got four edible pieces we have three bars of scent let's go And hopefully, I mean, it's almost nighttime and we have full alertness. This is the perfect time to get an Aurora. And then by nightfall, uh, we might have to decide where we're going to sleep. If we don't get an Aurora, because I'm not coming all the way back here. Hey, inflated beef. Welcome in. How are you doing? Let's go this away. Oh, there's the rail cars. any of these wolves over there have respawned oh run 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 let's grab some rose hips
Oh, do we have your hide? We don't. Uh, we'll just take that. I, I don't even know why I'm taking all of the deer hides. I mean, we got a lot. Probably way more than enough. But we're going to continue to take them. So there's the camp. Right? That is the camp. So it's the big... The big mountain is just to the left of it. Alright, Murd. Mr. Murd. I will start walking directly across this. Because there's, there is no thin ice out here. There's big patches of snow. Yeah, I guess if I run out of leather, I can make deer boots. I have more leather, though. This is like those pe two pieces I have aren't all that I have, right? Um... Get this guy. Doink. How many wolves is that? Uh, we're on day 272. And potheads rejoice. That is wolf number 420. I'm sorry, they've 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 kind of stolen that number. Uh to the point where anytime I see that number, it's just instantly I think of potheads. <laughs> they they like to use it in their gamer tags. I don't know why, but do you I guess? Uh I, I say they stole it. It's not like I had uh, any any other memories of that word or that number in the past. Uh, it didn't trigger other things for me. But it's just now it's just every time I see that number, that's all I think about. Did we get that one? I don't even know. I don't even care. But. It's the time of day. It's almost night. We got three bars of scent. You never knew that? Really, XM? Coach didn't know that either. Well, marijuana is legal in Canada, right? So, I mean, it, it's not like it just started, but now it's legal. So there's, there's a lot more people doing it. And now it's the people who before were too afraid. They're, they're also doing it. So, and I don't have a problem with that. Do what you want to do. Especially if something's not illegal. Go ahead.
but yeah, that number is forever associated to that. Well, here we are again. Out in this area. Um, we should head that way, I guess. I don't know. We're just walking, by the way. We're just checking things out. Where are we at for days in the muskeg? Uh, it doesn't really matter. Did I? It's right there. We're on day 17. Uh, that is not consecutive days. I think we've had 11 consecutive days, but we're not shooting for any specific numbers. We're just trying to clear out the predators and look for signal caches. Who's purring now? Merd's purring. Why are you purring? What did I do? What did I do? Oh, that's for copper for all the walking. <laughs> oh, yeah? Let's see if this guy's still paying attention. I'm not even going to say his name. If he indeed likes those things as much as he says he does, he should know just by the sound what we did. That's right. Those things are life. <laughs> Almost nighttime. Now, are we going to get nighttime before my break or are we going to take the break before the nighttime? Too bad that the bear cave isn't deeper. We still have three bars, so I mean, if there is anything still out here with teeth, they should be coming to us. Yeah, Murd purred for you. Murd purred. It was a double purr as well. Well, I think when copper, like when you're not here, Mer copper is uh, taking over as, as my stretcher for you. So it's good that you two are looking out for each other. All right, let's get into the... last time I was trying to pick all these yeah and the one time you accidentally OT oh, oh. <laughs> that's it's funny you put that it's like the one time I OT'd instead my brain reads that as the one time you OD'd <laughs> like remember that time I just meant to do this but I OD'd we all thought it was funny Yeah, dude, that was like you were totally like just laying there. We got sticks. All right, let's fill our belly with this cooked meat. The sun is setting. 
we're gonna do that and we're gonna go to the back of the cave I'll do this so you can still see there we go oh I, there's my meat and all right I'm back Darth has six new chicks, as in baby chickens. Nice. Look at the color. I gotta make sure I didn't leave anything. Okay. Look at the color and the time of day. And we see stars. It could be. Could be. I'm gonna back up. Uh, there we go. Itchy ankle. <laughs> oh, XM wants coffee time. All right. Let's stay warm whilst we do this. Here we go. There we go. Dribbled. Maybe. I won't tell. Alright, let's continue this way. Uh, and just kind of hope we get an Aurora. Um, we're going to gather sticks. As well. And never have too many sticks. Remember, we made a fire through 40 sticks on there and we, we were able to get it above zero. With no coal. Never underestimate the power of the sticks. And... I think we'll grab mushrooms and uh, rose hips whenever we see them. Why not? I don't believe we're going to clear out the whole region of them, but we'll get a good portion of them. for sticks because we have 31 it's a pretty good amount it's enough that I'm not gonna go out of my way for them anymore but I will grab ones that are in our way I will go out of my way for mushrooms if I happen to see them to run nope we can run right yeah okay good oh there's a birch tree there might be birch bark who knows maybe not eh uh let's pull that out that back I just didn't want to climb that hill unprepared come on Aurora we got some chickens up here we don't need any though did I just hear I did not. Oh, 
Oh, we're at Hat Creek. Oh, you know what we're gonna do? We're gonna go up there and collect birch bark because we are low. Um, where is it? We only have two. We are low. Let's go get some birch bark. Should be a bunch up there. I'm guessing like 16. 16 individual pieces. Give us something to do while we're waiting to see if we get a, an Aurora. Thinking of rename of, of naming this batch of chicks Nifo Copper Murd Coach and XM. <laughs> but don't you do uh you raise them for food, right? That might be weird when the time comes. Just saying. mostly oh okay I can be a chicken laying egg and egg lay <laughs> I can be an egg laying chicken wow if I want to be a chicken laying egg I'll be a chicken laying egg I can be whatever I want. Um, I think I'm too far. This is not where I want to be. I went way too far. You name all your livestock. Let me up. There we go. Well, still nothing. some chickens over here somewhere right there that is not what we want fly little bird Frosty, what is it? Oh, it's only minus three. We had a wind block when I checked, though. Go figure. I almost missed one. Those two were weird because they weren't in spots I was actually expecting any. know the ones that are going to be food you name them after the ex-wife's family funny we must have a bunch of mushrooms at this point 
Uh, where do they go there? We have 23. That's like almost 12 cups. Uh, I'm going to lay off on the sticks. the birch bark's primarily like out in that area as there's no real birches out this way uh, I think 16 might be a little high Once we, once we need to warm up, we'll uh, head over to the cave, get inside where we can warm up. We'll craft the bark. Gotta be more. kind of bothersome because I was expecting an Aurora and I mean it's kind of green that's a weird color up there what is the actual temperature it's minus four and that time there was no wind block There's another. What's over here? Is that the body I just literally checked? I don't know. You had a huge full moon last night. We had a nice big one too. Darth's wondering if we're gonna find 12. I think there's a better chance of 12 than my 16. with my guess being wrong as long as it ends up being an even number you know how I hate to have odd numbers did I walk literally in a circle cold. yeah I did <laughs> wow let's just walk straight It's hard when you're looking around constantly. It's real easy to get turned around, I guess. I think I have far too much of this stuff. Um, we're at 31. That's one and a half kilograms. All right, this will be 34. That's it. That is way more than we need. All right. 
Let's start heading this way. I wouldn't mind finding a few more pieces of birch bark, but I mean, three cups is better than no cups, right? so much alertness uh we're gonna end up waking up in the middle of the night but maybe we wake up and there's an aurora actually no i think if uh i think if we go to bed now we'll probably wake up it'll be daytime oh great You knew it was going to give me one last piece, right? Every time. Do I if I don't warm up soon? All right, settle down. Just one more piece. I think I'm still heading in the direction of the cave. Yeah, that's the outdoor cave. We need to go up here. Maybe we get lucky if we follow these ones. like it. Alright, looks like we're gonna sleep in this cave. Man, this pack is getting kind of heavy. Have we honestly not been in this cave yet? I thought we were. This is not the first place we have missed. We've had several locations in this run where we haven't been there in a rather lengthy period. You know what? I'm just gonna I'm gonna sleep up here. Right there. Nice cliffside view. Um hey, let's drop that. We'll eat up and drink. What's that sound that I'm hearing? Nothing. All right. Rolls off in his sleep. Yeah, I would. All right, let's uh, take that. Eat that. Sure, I can carry him. That shut her up real good, eh? I'll take that. We'll leave that deer hide there. Uh, let's craft. As we obviously have a blizzard. Can we make any of you? Yes, we can. And. 
Wow. Oh, it sounds like it uh, cleared up. And that's what that was. I was kind of wondering, what, what what is with the ruined meat? I guess that was all close. And now it's ruined. All right, are we going to take you so we don't forget you? And, ooh. Looks like we are about to go acquire another hide. This is why I slept because I don't know this system, this cave system very well, but if we can see a little bit, it's better than not being able to see at all. We really don't even need the lantern in this spot, but I will use it. Uh, you know, if I was smart, I would actually, well, uh, oh, that's fur. Let's do it. I wonder if I can drop any of this gear. Okay, we have an exit over there. We're just going to go look for coal. We have an exit. I believe these two join, but I'm not positive. There we go. We got some coal. And these are just branches. Okay. Twigs. Let's go down this way. Transport it back to the barn. I'll have to remember that if we uh, have to whip out the bow, that revolver will come out first. Uh. I think we're gonna go there. All right, this is where we started. So I was right, it does connect. So we'll go in here and we'll take uh, take this route. What's the time of day? It is midday. Oh wow! Look at that. Well, uh, we handy. don't need the book. We got another lantern that's half full. That's good. And some soda. Okay. Uh, we have to read or attempt to read you. And now you say that you're completed. We'll do that. Yeah, we've maxed archery. The books are no good to us. Basically, the only books that we can read now are fishing, revolver, rifle, and gunsmithing. But I still like to pick them up and 
attempt to read them so that it'll give them that uh, research completed tag on it. Uh, if you don't do that, it won't do it. Uh, we got a rope, but we don't want it. Okay, and I don't think there's anything from this point. Uh, I think the dot appearing right there is uh, an indication that we're at the end. Um, oh, that's too bad. Well, if we eat this, that might dry us out enough that we can get the whole soda. Perfect. That was exactly what I wanted. Let's harvest. Is getting too heavy to carry. And how's our clothing doing? 81, 85. Acquire a piece of cloth, use a piece of cloth. And right, let's go. And we got three bars of scent, so be on our toes. Let's do that. What do we have for sticks? We gotta have a lot. 46. Well, if you got 46, you may as well have 50, right? I'm pulling the bow out now because I'm anticipating a wolf. Those three lions up above our head. Make me think we might get one. The kilogram of the sticks. Six point nine. <laughs> Cherry Lum wants to bet on my miss chances. You're saying 75%? Copper saying 30? You don't have faith in my my bow skills? I have faith. Yeah, I do. I do miss a lot. But I also hit a lot. I have 420 wolves that we've taken out in 273 days. 35 bears, eight moose, and we don't count the deer and the bunnies and the game is like we're not even gonna count the ptarmigan you can keep track of that yourself out of a thousand possible wolves that's actually how many times have I been attacked um actually where's bow shots taken There, that's not that bad. That's like 150 misses with the bow. Uh, wolf struggles, 46. 934 close encounters with wolves. Wow. And this ain't even stalker. Hey. I'm not gonna be able to carry this load for much longer. I want that stick, it's my stick. Why? 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 
Well, I know there's no bear. <laughs> Since there's frozen ponds around, he does stand a 94% chance of going into the water. Uh, you might be close to being accurate. <laughs> After yesterday, I cannot say anything. Three times yesterday. It's like as soon as I got hypothermia, it was like, here, you want to have hypothermia again? Okay, I'll take it. kilograms over and we already can't run i'm not gonna go after the deer i was thinking about going after the buck but uh what was our sticks 48 okay we need two and we'll go check the hunting blind Yeah, I'm a little more alert today. Yesterday was a long day. My weekdays now are long. I get up at 6. Um, I get home from work at 4.30. I shower, I eat. Gives me enough time to uh, set up the stream, take Ruby out, come back, start the stream. By the time the, the editing's done and I can upload the video, it's nine. And then I'm free for the next hour and a half till it's bedtime. <laughs> And then when there's hockey games, it's really not much different. Weekends are definitely a lot easier. Because I can just wake up. And I'm still waking up at 6. Uh, I don't turn my alarm, uh, my alarm off. I just happen to wake up 5 minutes before it goes off anyways. Since I have a job, I don't feel like such a bum. So if I actually wanted to go have a nap, I wouldn't feel bad about it. And on days like today, I actually get to have my stream and watch hockey. All right, we've been to this one. There not going to be anything in here. But that was a bullet for a second there. It's plus three. What's the time of day? Almost night time. Your dog wakes you up at 4.30 every day. How are the kitties and Ruby taking the change? They're good with it. Ruby's primarily the one that wakes me up. She does her... She sits there and does her soft little growl. And I wake up, I look at my clock, and I'm like, seriously, really? I got ten minutes. And then I spend the next eight minutes... Thinking... I should just lay there <laughs> till my alarm goes off and then I finally get up. Uh, I don't think I've woken up to my alarm one time. I even had one day where my alarm didn't go off 
but I was up 10 minutes before it was supposed to, so it didn't matter. Your dog Nova rubs her nose on your face until you wake up. Ten extra minutes she can cuddle with you. No, no, that's not what's happening. She's like, let's go. I want to go outside because I'm used to going outside. And no word of a lie. Usually when she goes outside, she gets a she gets like a little milk bone when she comes in. The tiny ones as her little treat. Um, she doesn't even wait around for those. She sleeps in my bed. Through the night and when I go I take her outside in the morning when I get up and she runs inside and runs into the wife's room and goes and sleeps with her I'm like all right no bone for you I guess there's gonna be people who are all confused by that <laughs> and I'm just gonna let them keep being confused by it. Like, wait a second, you have different rooms? Yep. <laughs> One day we'll have separate houses. What is this, the 50s? No, this is the new millennium. Where staying married is, uh, rare. Are we going to get the nice? Let's go. Nope. <laughs> I guess we're not going to run. Yeah, and I sleep in those, uh, those pajamas with a hat. Kind of like they always show Scrooge in. Like, who sleeps in that stuff? Come on. Yeah. One day we are, yes. Your wife and you see each other for about an hour a day more on the weekends let's go this way uh, I believe this is the way to cross right uh, you know what I'm gonna do I'm gonna eat you I'm gonna eat the other one And I'm going to drink what we have. And yeah, we're out of water. So we're going to go back to the barn, I guess. Get a fire going. Boil up some water. It's windy. It's minus 18, but it's plus one. I think that said on the temperature. Um, yeah, this is the right way. And luckily I marked my path on the other one. I should mark it here because I honestly, I think if I just walk straight, I can be okay, but I can't run. So if I get the nice, I got to back off. No, we're good. Her line to you is, oh, you're still, oh, you still live here? <laughs> That's funny. We have eight. I need these two.
Those eight are dead weight. There's my marker. The sad thing here is that I actually have to walk that way because I didn't mark it straight ahead. Wow, this wind is horrible. Horrible. What's the time? It's almost night time. I think we got enough time to make water. Um, it's not clear, but again, crossing fingers for an aurora. I think, oh, I can't, unless I make a fire with the, uh, was there a, was there a stove in one of these? I can't remember. I should look because if there is, that's a twin burner over a single burner and that's way better. Because then I can use the, the, uh, skillet. You can only do one liter at a time, but you can get two liters done in the same amount of time as... A pot can, so. I'm gonna go check. I don't think there was. I wish there was. Cause yeah, they got, this side has the dresser. A chair what's our what's our hatchet at 96 all right well i'm too heavy to want to walk all the way out there to go look if there's a stove so i'm not going to let's just go to the barn and make two liters at a time I should actually clear out around the uh, the forge and see if maybe I can get a fire down there. I think I can. Actually, no, I have one already down there, don't I? Yeah, I'm looking for that extra piece of birch bark here. Not seeing it. Finally, finally, there's my fire pit, I believe, right? Can I, is it possible? Uh, why? Oh, well, okay, let's just get one here. That's a hot. 100% with fur, we'll do that. Come on, little fire. That's a long time. Two hours and 13 minutes with the fur. Yeah, I have to do that because I'm an idiot. <laughs> Was seven and a half kilograms right there. 19 pieces of coal. We do not need 19 pieces. 
and the fur is real heavy so we'll drop that this is all cedar oh I do have two fire pits um, I'm not gonna utilize the other pit though look at that we might have to, oh what is that is that a footprint is that all that is I think it is All right, what do we got? Oh, we got to go up to the, uh, we got to go up to the bunker and get rid of those hides. 14 till boiled. Oh, whoops. That one. I'll put you there. Actually, if I pick you up, I should get you at the same angle that that one's at. That works. And we got our meat still, right? Now we don't. Okay, one thing I do want to do, though, that's all ruined. Uh, you know what? I'm going to keep that there. I don't care. I would like to scooch you up. That's all actually rancid. That's not ruined. We only have five pieces. Oh well. Alright, let's uh, 12 till melted. 21 till boiled. It's dusk, so I can't be far behind. And... Luckily, they both cook at the same rate. We're just at the beginnings of the night. Anything still in here? No. I'm going to double check. I know it's empty, but... It makes me feel better. And do I have anything for cloth? No. Forty minutes. What can we do? We only have leather. That's only 15 minutes. It's 20 minutes. Uh, nothing in there. Oh, actually. We can throw those in there. And. We can put the lanterns down. I'm not going to break these ones down. Uh, our lantern, I think, is still pretty good. Yeah, 81. And... 24 so we're good and then some that actually went right to okay you're zero five that went right to uh right to full sometimes it only goes to 99 all right we'll leave you here I was really hoping for an Aurora. What are these at? You're at 93, 98. Okay. Uh, we got nine there. We got two there. We're good there. And they're both in the right spot. Okay. Yeah, we can't really do anything.
That's an hour. There we go. That bought us some time. I'm gonna throw an extra piece of wood even though I know this is an outdoor fire. I don't care. Uh, that one. Did I just hear music? Oh, I heard that music. Do that. That should be fine. And twenty seven. Twenty six still ready. That's a long that one will go up by point five. Oh, perfect. That one went up by 0.5. That went from three and a half to four. What are you at then? You're at three seven. So you are all cooked. You are all cooked. And you are 23 minutes. That's too long. 27. And it's a nice night. I want to grab the worst one. And we'll drop all those. I got a feeling I should have taken the other lanterns. Okay, let's go. Thought I heard something. Just in case we wake up and there's a blizzard, it gives me some way of killing two hours. That's disappointing though. Another clear night and no aurora. I think this is too far to take a screenshot from of the of the barn, but I'm going to try. You want the roars? Yes, so do I. Pretty lights. I think those blue clouds have to disappear. I want it to happen for for several reasons. I mean, number one, because that's what we're here for. Number two, the bulk of the predators have been dealt with recently. And I might only have two reasons. <laughs> All right, deer hides. How many do we have now? 10, 12? We have four, five, six, twelve, yeah. Right there. Well, bedtime. So with the bears and the moose gone, most of the wolves gone, 
doesn't really leave us much to do out here. I mean, we could always, how is our bow? Is that 56? Uh, is it two? I think it's two. Two guts. And I didn't pick one up, right? Okay. There we go. Well, may as well go build the boat. What is the temperature? There is no wind block. It's minus seven. Uh, we'll make another bow. We'll leave it behind. But when this one gets down, I don't know, 20? I mean, honestly, we can use this bow until it's down to 10% and still not really worry. But we'll try and get as much as we can without ruining it. Um, it still has to go to the camp office. To be displayed. Spence Family Homestead. I don't know why I can never remember, but... Alright, and this is with our knife. And... Okay. Let's just see. Can we get five hours? Oh, look at that. We can. That was nice. Where can you go? Right there. That was nice. And it doesn't look like a homestead. No, it doesn't. It looks like a barn. Feels like a barn. Uh, well, let's uh, let's grab some more meat. Did I have any of these that were point fives? These ones? No. This one. Okay, I'm going to grab one piece of cooked meat and I'm going to go look at all the deer and take 0.5 pieces off of them. Again, I thought I had 0.5 pieces. I can't remember what I did with them. But I'd rather be out here during the day with three bars of scent than no bars or even like one bar because I want to really attract the predators just good luck finding any um and what I don't want to do, I don't want to shoot a deer and then 0.5 that meat. I'd rather just get it from carcasses. We don't necessarily have to get six pieces of it. If we get a couple, that's probably good enough. Uh, 
the bunk houses. Let's give a double check. See if I missed anything. I think I can use this. Oh, I missed that. Oh, hey. And it's one of the rare books we can still read. A Polaroid. I believe it's that tower down that way, right? Or is it this one? I don't know. Well, if we miss those, let's check around here. All right. Nothing else. Okay, that's fine. Check your Discord under pets. Okay. Well, I'm pretty excited that we found a book that we can read. Gunsmithing? That might put it to maybe there. say is if we encounter any deer I will take them down I'll point five five pieces and properly harvest the rest and we'll keep that point five always separate Because it might take a long time to find five deer carcasses out here that I haven't taken the meat from. I know I've left a bunch of them and just taken, you know what, there's one in there probably. Uh, I've taken the hides from a bunch of them, but not the meat. But I do think also... that uh, once you harvest from a from a carcass like that it does start to degrade and eventually it's gone so if you take like just the hide eventually you might miss out on that little bit of meat uh, that is my belief not my knowledge but I do think that's how it works Kind of wish I had to. Maybe it's up there. I don't know. I don't actually know where the vista is. We got one over here, which is not far from that cache. And we have another up here. Maybe I'll get lucky and I'll walk past the fire, an old fire. We need some charcoal. That's those birds. And I would like to be taking deer meat, not wolf. That's why I didn't take off of the wolves back there. I want to stop taking predator meat for scent meat. And just eliminate the possibility of accidentally eating it.
Hey, interleaving. Hello, please may I ask you a game question. If I want to sleep for 12 hours in Stalker and I'm at 95% tired before falling asleep, is there a way to check uh, or see how many of the 12 hours you actually slept? Um, top left, look at your... The, the the display up there where the sun is or the moon depending on when you're going to sleep um, unless you have insomnia you should sleep that amount I usually only go 10 hours though at a time Only because I can't remember, it's been so long since I've been on just plain stalker that I can't remember what the, uh, uh, at what point do you become thirsty? But yeah, if you don't have any, any kind of afflictions, you should be sleeping that entire time. And from one side of the horizon to the other side, that would be a 12 hour span. I'm going to grab these sticks because, yeah, we have four. There's a big fat juicy buck over there. We're probably going to have to build a fire. But more importantly, when we get up here, I'll find out if this is actually the, the Vista spot. Or if it's a different tower. And it's almost nighttime. Look at all these sticks. It's not clear, though. There's a deer. We're gaining temperature too. Oh, there's three pieces right there. I can technically take the last little bit too and get four. I don't like to do that though. I just want to take the point fives. Is that the sound? Nope. Thought I heard a sound like an Aurora just started. I will take the last piece. You know why? You know what I'm going to do? That's point three. If I take that last little bit off of enough of these carcasses, I can have my scent meat weigh as little as possible without having to go and nibble on the raw meat. And make sure that this is, oh, this is the Vista. Well, is an hour-long fire going to do it? I always believed an hour-long fire is what's going to give you a piece of coal. Let's go an hour 20. Actually, you know what? If I do that, I can do that. And what is... That's the one I want to keep. We have three bars. The problem is I think in an hour it's going to be too dark. Let's 
do that. Can I squeeze in here without burning myself? Let's do that. shelter 48 minutes there we go we got an aurora it's on we need this fire to go out though Four minutes. Aha. That is a vista. I don't care who you are. And we only got, oh, we got two. That is a vista. Finally, we got an Aurora and we got set over seven liters of water. And now we have two bars of scent. <laughs> All right, let's go. All right. Yeah, I think that's what I'm going to do with those carcasses. If I find any more carcasses, I am going to harvest all of the meat and take that little piece at the end and use that as my scent meat. Because it's not the weight, it's the amount of pieces. Now what's our uh, what's our tactic here? Oh boy. I'm kind of glad I pulled this out cuz we would have walked right away from I think it's up by the plane, right? Didn't we already get one out there though? I don't know. It's early enough and we have enough alertness that we can easily get around the muskeg as well, I think. I'm guessing it's up here. I hope it's not down there. Probably right by the helicopter. So yeah, what's our what's our game plan here? Like after this one, do we just cut across straight across or do we stick to the outskirts or what? There it is. Are you good? Are you good? We'll take it. Well, we got another flare shell. I would put that under mediocre. I mean, it is another flare shell. So it's not a complete waste. Oh, that is just... 
even though you keep you don't fall off of the wall it just doesn't feel right to be going literally straight down Alright, so what do y'all think? Should we go? Oh, 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 no, 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 no. Should we go around the outskirts or should we just cut right down the middle? I'm leaning towards the outskirts. And I'm going to say... I don't know that that tower is the other vista. Thin ice makes me nervous right now. I'm yeah, I'm gonna go around the outskirts. Times like this though, I kinda wish I didn't have scent. But I think we'll be fine. I'm making you nervous, I don't know. Me too. Imagine how I would feel if I went into the water today. If I fall into the water again, you'll never let me live it down. I accept that. That's fair. Dang it. There be a wolf glowing green. Let's continue. Now, where was I saying that I thought would be a good place for uh, a signal cache? I can't remember. I mean, the rail car would be another place that you would think might have one. Possibly. I think they, 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 I think they're putting them kind of in places that a person might actually go. Was that a wolf? Yep. Where are you at? There you are. Yes, I'm gonna say that every time I shoot a wolf. <laughs> Ooh. You wonder if you can make a wolf fall into the water? I don't think so because I think they're their pathing doesn't allow them to go onto the thin ice. Uh, this way in the past, I was always like, mm, I don't know where I can go. And uh, people are telling me like, 
Just watch where the, the wolf or the bear went. Dunk. How bad is that arrow? 19. Moose is still out. Doink. Just kind of itching to hear that sound. Pretty sure that moose is gone. Is this where it was? Yeah. Well, it's more fun when you got the radio out. Maybe the other one's over by that tower, who knows? But the good news is after tonight, provided we get like right around, we shouldn't have any issues. But after tonight we can leave. Go somewhere else. Don't be getting cold, Astrid. Do I have cooked meat? No, I don't. I do have water though. I was just wondering what's 42 out of 43. Uh, we're going to start losing carry capacity. Well, we already have been losing it, but... the signal I'm expecting wolves up here too to say though My fingers numb. just because we were here not very long ago so if there is any wolves up here they are new spawns uh, we got two bars of scent so if they are they'll be coming too kind of looking at that dark spot on the hill but can't quite tell if that's I think it's just no yeah, it might be a wolf nope it looks like a tree stump but I heard oh there we go That's what I was going to say is I heard a wolf up ahead, so I'm kind of... Doink. Hopefully that was the only one.
Uh, I do not like climbing hills. You never know what's on the other side of the hill. Luckily, we know there's not a vicious moose on the other side. Should we go down here? I guess we don't have too much of a choice right now. Oh, it seems to be the smart decision. As soon as I didn't, uh, I should have just turned around instantly. Whatever, we're going. Four times in two days? That ain't so bad, is it? There it is. Those are ruined. We got another technical balaclava. You are 1.9, you are 1.7. And there is a wolf. I don't care, you know what? I don't mind falling through again. Where we're going for a signal cash. Is he barking at the lights? That's you right there, isn't it? This sounds there's another one over there. Three shots. Got all my arrows back. Um, well, there's a rumor that you can possibly get up to three. I kind of wanted to go up there, though. Because I think that might be the other or is the vista up where the birch is too bad it didn't have a wetsuit in there that would actually come in very handy we can't run 
We will stick to the outskirts. We got to get warm though. There's a cave up here, so we'll just go there. Uh, we don't have meat that is cooked. So... Uh, just wondering. Like, did we have any food? No, we didn't. We have lots of water, though. Yeah, I'm not sure where the second vista is, but... I think the goal for us right now is that cave. And... You know me and my horrible memory. I'm trying to remember if there was actually a deer in there. I think there was. And we only took the hide. So I guess in the morning, we might go have a look. Or we might even do it right now. Who knows? Um, I think morning would be better. The thing is, we don't have food. So I would actually have to cook some food. Pull that out just in case. Actually, I'm going to pull this out. We either have to cook some food or pick a bunch of cattails to get us through the night. I think with the amount of condition loss we have right now. Do we even have tea? We don't have a tea that's made. So I think we will cook some meat so we can also get some tea. And hopefully if we eat the meat that'll dry us up enough that we can uh, get a tea and a birch bark down. Oh yeah, it's Rem's Twitch anniversary. We might go raid her or him. I don't know if Rem's male or female. I don't know. Sometimes it's hard to tell. There's cattails. Oops. It's not a lot of cattails. You know what? I'm just going to go in. I'm just going into the cave. We, we can't. Like, look at how much condition we've lost. It's ridiculous. That helps a little bit. We're not out of the woods that though. Uh, let's do that. We do have to sleep a little bit. Honestly, the smartest thing right now would be to just light a fire and get some meat cooked um, rather than looking to see if there was a deer in here that we could also harvest but uh, 
I don't know. Hopefully if there was, it wasn't too ter terribly far away. Cavern. Yes, you do. And this is where the deer was. Is it still in here? It shouldn't have despawned yet. Too tired to think straight. Did it really? Oh. That was... Pretty quick despawn. Although it was a carcass, and I don't recall what the percentage on it was when it when we uh, harvested from it. I think early game it would have been a little bit different. Okay, we need a fire because we definitely have to cook. We got that. And we'll use the uh, the pot and the skillet. Come on, little fire. But we still won't be fools, and we'll keep the handle out. <laughs> All right, you're point five, so we can cook you. You're point five. Where is the other one? There it is. 16 minutes. All right, we're going to have to cook some more. that one take our pot actually while we can see we'll do that and we'll drink this grab that and there we go and I think I'll end this stream here so for those of you on YouTube, if you like what you see, please like and subscribe, and I will see you all tomorrow.